In this video, you'll learn how to create a banded and advanced banded layout in code. You'll start with switching the main view to the required type. Then you'll create first level bands and their child bands to create a hierarchy. After the bands are initialized, you'll create columns and link them to parent bands. And finally, you'll switch to the advanced banded grid view where you will move columns to the second row and let column headers fill the empty space under them. Let's start with the application that has a grid control bound to a car database. The Create Banded Layout button in the ribbon control will initiate the code that switches the layout to the banded view. In the Click Event Handler, create a banded grid view instance. Disable its Auto Populate Columns option and assign the resulting object to the grid's main view property. Now run the application and click the Create Banded Layout button. As you can see, the layout switched. But the newly created view is empty since automatic column generation was disabled. Now close the application and return to the handler code. Create grid band instances to add the main, performance attributes, and notes bands at the top hierarchical level. Add the objects to the view's bands collection. Now run the application, click the button, and the view will have the bands displayed. This time, let's create nested bands. To do this, create new band objects and add them to the main band's children collection. Now run the application and click the button to see the new hierarchical band structure. Let's return to the click handler code and create columns represented by banded grid column objects. Initialize their field name properties and make them visible. Add created columns to the view's columns collection. Next, format the price column values as currency using the display format property. And run the app and click the button again. As you can see, columns are not displayed within the view, and that's because they haven't been linked to bands yet. To add a column to a band, set the column's owner band property. Now run the application, click the buttons, and see that columns are now visible under their corresponding bands. Let's return to code and modify the handler so that it creates an advanced banded grid view instead of a standard banded grid view. You'll simply have to use a different class for the view. The rest of the code will continue working. Now run the application. The layout is the same as before, only the column auto width feature is now disabled. Close the application and arrange the column headers into multiple rows. To display the category and leader columns under other columns within their parent bands, Set their row index property to 1, and run the application again. You can see the change, but now empty spaces appear under some column headers. To automatically modify the height of column headers to fill empty spaces, enable their Auto Fill Down option. And run the application and click the Create Banded Layout button again to see the final result.